Welcome back. We're going to play yet some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get to play Static Rook and hopefully we'll get to demonstrate some skill. Let's see. Good luck. Somehow this seems much louder than normal, but I think that's just my perception. This definitely seems loud. I'm going to check one thing volume-wise. Is my speaker set overly loud for no reason? Yes, it is. Apologize for all that echoing. Hopefully that should be fixed by now. Uh, so our opponent is attending to build a shape here. Or they're playing fourth foul rook. We force them to move the bishop up to protect this. And this in turn means, um, not sure what's the next reasonable move here. I think we block this check and prepare to hit the bishop on its head. Continue preparing here. And this would always scare the heck out of me, so I'm going to play it and see how my opponent reacts. Alright, they close the square to my silver. Um, our opponent has spent one turn pra uh, protecting their king, so I'm going to spend one turn protecting mine. All right, here we go. Pull silver. Let's ask if they're going to build the castle in the corner. They're not. We'll take another turn to protect our king. Uh, they build half Mino castle, which is fine. Um, Hmm. If I bring the rook over, if they bring the silver up, I push this pawn, we exchange, they could... I don't know how effectively they could drop a pawn to stop this attack. Um, if I push, take, take... It's not so easy for them to stop my attack here. Unless I've completely missed something, and maybe I have. But what? Alright, so we cash in. They're attacking this knight, sure. Um, If I push here, it's fine, right? Could also take this bishop and drop a silver here. I hit this knight. They could bring up a gold to defend this knight. Yeah, and this seems like a clear way forward. So we're just going to attack. Yes, our opponent has a rook, but we've got a bishop. And those are about even. Uh, we're hitting this knight that's not so easy for them to defend. Sure, the knight can be moved. Um, but then I can attack this rook. Okay. And then finally... I guess we complete this shape. Maybe a bit late. 
I don't know. Is this... I mean, admittedly, that's running from a fork, and you're not supposed to do that, but what am I supposed to do here? Um... bring this one step closer and see how they defend. Also, now my bishop is active and could potentially take the lance next. Interesting. If I had a knight, that would be great. I don't have a knight. Um, but I know how to get one. So this covers both points the knight can run to. In preparation for my taking the knight, placing it on 7-4, and having some awesome tactics that follow. Um, it's curious. I'll take the knight before it promotes, and then I don't know. It's hard to say, isn't it? Um, maybe it's not so hard. Gofun. All right, so this threatens various tactics, but they could drop a silver to stop most of these. But then the silver is committed to that square. Also, maybe I do want a rook after all. I considered should I drop this knight first, but this just loses a knight, and then I exchange the bishop for this rook. It doesn't seem worth it to do that. All right. Um, that seems risky. And if I hadn't dropped my bishop, I'd have another bishop here. Um, So they could drop a piece between my rook and this gold, and then that piece could be my new target. Um, that's one way this could proceed. I had so many thoughts fly through my head as I was considering this move. One of my many thoughts was that this pawn is hanging. Um, and in some sense it is, because I don't want my token moving all the way away from this castle. Um, so this 
blocks my bishop from promoting on the same square. Uh, but the silver is far, far out of play. So at this point, I have a very comfortable advantage um, in that their attack is stopped and mine is not. Um, gave up a pawn, promoted pawn at that. Oh, here I'm surrendering my bishop in order to get another knight. I commented earlier how much I wanted a knight, so this might not be a bad thing. Um. Sampun. Hmm. Okay, finally they get a lance. Oh, they also have this fork. Except I could take the gold general if it moves there, so... It's kind of a fork, but not one that wins material. Um, So this threatens to take the silver if they take my lance. I'm also threatening just to exchange a bishop for two generals. Uh, which looks good no matter what they do. To the point where I was considering, do I just take this instead of moving my rook? Um, but it's not necessary, because if this gold runs, thanks for the game. If the gold runs, my horse can pursue it. So yeah, this uh, attack was inoxorable. It was not stopping. Let's play another game. In the end game, a vulgar move is all right. Play what wins. Good luck. Okay, we've got Senta here, meaning we get to move first. So this encourages a bishop exchange. Okay, we have the wrong diagonal bishop played against this bishop exchange thing. Um, I'm trying to remember how this works. If they play that, um, I have bishop 5-5, five five, right? I've repeated this so many times in my head, but I think, I think bishop 5-5 five five is supposed to meet this comfortably. Um, and so now they have a challenging position to maintain. Although they do have a pawn. But yeah, I get some initiative for the fact that this bishop is want a pawn here. Um, how next do we proceed? I still don't have a pawn in hand. Maybe gold here was not correct. So this pawn makes way for my rook. And now their bishop's protected. Um, we stop the bishop from invading. We close our bishop's diagonal and open one for their own bishop.
So we defend this, which frees our silver to move. A rook and bishop, a target there, rook. Oh, which can easily return the favor. Um, still, this looks interesting. If this pawn advances, I take it, they take, I take. So, it seems fine. I can defend this point again. Um, and we continue chasing their bishop. Then maybe my king should move between my generals. Seems like a good timing to run before we do something crazy. As if I haven't done things that are extremely crazy already. Oh, a pawn in hand. That's interesting. That's confusing for both of us. Um... Hmm. Not comfortable with that. Because they could drop that on my knight's head. That's why they're playing this. Okay. This is perhaps a crazy overplay, but we'll see where it ends up. Um... Yes, my rook is... my everything is in an uncomfortable place here. But yes, especially the rook. Um, maybe I could... no, going here would have been crazy. Um, so I attack, they attack. I've got another pawn in hand. Um, might need, oh, one way to stop their promotion would be to take this pawn. My knight is already lost. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, this is not good. But I've got a pawn. I can use this pawn. <laughs> Fair enough. Nah, yeah, there's. I still haven't lost this game yet, so it's okay for uh, you to refrain for now. Um, I'll lose it on my own, and then we can look at it after we play game three. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is terrible. Gofun. All right, we've got a move. We might as well use it. Let's see. If I had some pawns, that would be fantastic. I do not have said pawns. Can't get a knight. Is 
looks extremely rough. So they're still threatening to promote here. If I take their knight gets active in a hurry. This sucks. So we'll try to survive this, but it's not looking good. I've trapped my rook and I have no way to escape it. At first, like, optically this looked okay to me. I didn't realize just how bad this could be. I could go up. Didn't consider that until the interface flashed it, but um, it doesn't get very far. Something. So eventually they're just going to drop a pawn and my bishop can't go this way anymore. But they haven't done that yet, so... We'll remain in suspended disbelief for now. If I push, silver takes... Um... Takes one of these pieces takes, I push silver takes, I attack. They move forward, I lose my rook. Um but that's not terrible actually. It's fine. I have to try something, so we're going to try something. It looks terrible, but I don't see another idea, so we're going to go with the terrible looking idea. Oh, actually, if I drop an no, if I drop another pawn, they just retreat. So that doesn't go anywhere. So I have to do it this way. Silver takes knight takes. Let's say knight takes silver up, and then the silver could go anywhere, and it's going to cause me havoc. But um, at least I'll be able to drop a pawn where the silver vacates. Uh, they block the diagonal as they should. Still, we gotta try something. Um, why the hell not? Okay, I know why the hell not. I should take this first. Um, hmm. Yeah, clearly I should take this first. That gives me a knight. That knight's hitting this gold general. Let me take that.
Maybe this is right. I have no time to think. So I could defend this point, and I can take it anyway. Actually, a knight cannot defend this point. It would have to be a silver. So we've made things complicated. Finally. Uh, I assume they hit our bishop. We run it somewhere. Or maybe we just take here. Yeah. What a mess. Um... I'm going to take this regardless. Incredibly, they recapture. We've got a fight. We have a, we have a fight on our hands. Um... Hmm. Thank you. Um. Oh, that's not right. It felt right in the moment, um, but moments are fleeting. Well, it's not entirely wrong, but there must have been a better way. I have to hurry. I want your silver. Thank you. I still don't see anything even close to a mate here. Fuck. Jubio.
Thanks for the game. Yep. All right. Two games down. One to go. Let's do it. Oh, we've reached the game limit for the day. No, that's fine. Uh, so the third game I'd started for today um, ran over the day limit. So that's why I was confused. We only get to play two games today. Um, yeah, our third game ran over the time that the website was doing the daily reset. And I thought I knew how that works, and now we know how it works. So two games is probably good enough, given how they went. Uh, let's take a look at our result. So we finish at 16.3% of the way toward Wandan. This is where we've been more or less for the last so many months. So, like I said, I need to study more. Um, impulse alone is not going to be enough to carry me through this. Not when I've played this many games and opponents have played far, far more games than I have. So, we see in this rapid 10 minute category, I've played about more than 300 games. So, um, yeah, and we can see as Senta, we generally tend to lose. And as Gota, we tend to win. So maybe that should tell us something about where we need to focus our study. I don't know. Hope we enjoyed the games. Thanks for watching.